Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. We need to talk about this loading screen right here that we are about to see as we log into Foot. Are we getting a new promotion on Friday? The answer to that is yes, but we don't know what promotion this is. This is a very interesting loading screen. I wanna talk about it. There's not a lot of clues or hints inside of this. I don't see like any words or numbers like they like to throw in with other loading screens. I don't see anything with that one but I want to talk about it a little bit and kind of talk about what this looks like to me because we do have a couple options for what this promo could be. You know, they like to re-release and they like to kind of keep the same schedule as they have done in prior years with a lot of these promos and that's going to be factoring into a lot of our decisions today on what we think this promo is going to be. But regardless, it is Thursday. Happy Weekend League Rewards Day if you guys have rewards. I have gold three rewards myself. I'm really hoping to get Sun, of course, who isn't, but as a Spurs fan, a Sun in red form, red in form in my club would be perfect. But again, we're here to talk about this loading screen today, and this is what we have right now on foot. It's basically just a green with like the foot graphics, right? It's green with foot graphics, starts in one day, 15 hours. My first question when I see this is, does EA actually have to put out another promo and actually advertise another promo that's gonna be coming out? in this game in the next couple days because this promo that we're currently in winter refresh is just so bad this winter refresh promo has been awful bro seriously awful and i don't know when we're getting that guaranteed winter refresh sbc like we should be getting but for some reason it doesn't look like it's coming so uh i think that this promo is kind of one of two things and i want to first just mention uh the first event that i do think that it could be and that is foot player days now a lot of people aren't talking about this promo but if you remember this from last year basically what this was is ea was dropping promo after promo every weekend from when the year turned 2019 and onwards we had the first time ever we had headliners the first time ever we had fo uh, foot future stars right we had the ones to watch in the prime icon moments promos and we had this right at the beginning of march i think this is going to be our promo for right at the right this week um, on foot. I think this is what it's going to be. Basically, foot player days from last year. This is my opinion. It could also be carnival. We'll talk about that in a second. But I want to talk about this. What this promo came after winter refresh last year, uh, and it it was basically a new event for a single weekend. Is what it was. Uh, they threw. Uh, best of informs back into packs with uh, you know engagement rewards coin discounts buy one get one free packs uh, SBCs and the like so again the biggest part of this promo was uh, the fact that it was a 50% off packs two for one packs they had all that kind of stuff it was just another thing they could do to try to sell packs on the weekend so this is my opinion for what's going to be coming this weekend we'll probably learn more information today later on in the day after 6 p.m. UK uh, we will probably get more information, but of course they threw in the best of team of the week last year So we had Ronaldo we had team of the group stage Neymar was in packs. We had an inform Eden Hazard uh, I think we had a group stage or inform De Gea. We had multiple group stage items and multiple We had a man of the match Ramos that was in packs uh, So yeah, it was basic. It was basically made up of Champions League uh, man of the match cards informs uh, one regular man of the match and then uh, team of the group stage as well so this was the foot player day squad last year these cards were out for just the weekend and that caused a lot of panic on the market i don't know if you guys remember this or not but there's a lot of panic selling on these cards and a lot of panic just on the market in general because you know when they release cards like this into packs people are going to open packs so uh that was the last year foot player days uh and then we also had the engagement rewards basically for the amount of foot 19 that you've played you get to log in and get a kit and a custom reward because of that. We had objectives, we had SBCs, pack supply SBCs basically is what it looks like for this. Again, this, this promo last year was only for a weekend, right? It was only for a couple days. So I think that this is the promo that is coming and I, I do see them making it an entire week promo because they do like to do this stuff uh, a lot. And then I think after this promo, we're gonna see not Carnival, but we're gonna see the uh, Copa Libertadores, uh, which is a new thing that is going to be coming to foot in the beginning of March. So we're going to be talking about that a little bit here on the channel because EA is making a big point of that in their uh, earnings calls. For, like the actual EA Electronic, Electronic Arts, the actual company, EA Sports, has been making a deal about that in their conference calls and in their earnings calls transcripts, which if you don't know what those are, that's basically when they update people who own their stock and who own their a share of their company by buying stock. We're talking IRL market right now. 
um, they inform those people what's going on with the company. That's called an earnings an earnings call or an earnings transcript. So that's where that some of that information is coming from. And they've been mentioning specifically that promotion inside of FIFA Ultimate Team in those earnings calls. Uh, so I think that's important. So we're going to talk about it. But my guess for this promo right here is foot player days because I think they can just throw that green out there and, and make a foot player days out of it. Some other people are talking about Carnival being this promo. I don't really know if it's Carnival because a lot of the Carnival stuff last year was based around the actual Carnival dates, right? A total of 26 players will be selected to embody the play style of eight major Carnival countries, right? Brazil, France, Belgium, uh, Italy, Argentina, USA, Spain, and Germany. So this is a cool promotion we had last year for the first time as well, but this came out like three weeks away from now. Two, two or three weeks away from now is when this came out. And it on this loading screen, I mean, we, we do have a green, right? This loading screen is basically just green. It's the only color that's in here, a little bit of blue, right? This promotion last year was really, it was like yellow, that pinkish red, and then the green. So I guess there's a possibility this upcoming promo could be Carnival, but I personally think it is going to be the uh, Foot Player Days promo. I think they're going to make a week out of it. They're going to throw best of cards back into packs because they haven't done that since Black Friday. And then they're probably going to drop like, they could drop the mid-icon SBC. Last year, they dropped Prime Moments SBCs. Um, and then, they, of course, they did the two-for-one packs. I think that that would be something that they could do with this promo. So again, those are just my thoughts on the upcoming promo and the loading screen that we do have. I want to cover some other things right now that are going on in foot as well. It was like a hodgepodge day of all sorts of things in foot. Not a ton of content, not really any SBCs. But we did get the Twitch Prime packs. I don't know if you guys saw this. If you do have Twitch Prime or Amazon Prime, you can link your Amazon Prime account and get these packs. And this is actually an interesting scenario with this right now. Um, you were, were actually, if you get one of these packs, there's seven different packs. As it reads down here, Prime members get exclusive FIFA 20 content every month for seven months. So we have a pack. You can't see mine. It's over here on the right side. It's just past this one right here. This one. It's just to the right of that. It's it's hidden because I've actually claimed it and opened it. But uh, there's one for March, April, and then a spring. I'm guessing that's May, June, July, and August is what I'm guessing for all these months right here. Uh, for the next seven months, they're going to be giving us a free pack, which is kind of cool, I guess. So uh, I'll drop a link to the Amazon Prime uh, where you can link your accounts down below, and you can check that out if you wish. Um, but that's kind of cool, and we got those today. There's actually a loading screen for that as well. We got a new team of the week today. Uh, which actually was interesting because we had two OTW upgrades in Maguire and Pepe. And we also had a headliner upgrade in Jared Moreno. I mean, it doesn't really matter that much just because it's Jared Moreno and, you know, he's not the most OP or used player in foot. But we did get some informs today. Uh, again, good luck if you're opening your reds today for weekend league rewards. Um, interesting team of the week, honestly. Kind of interesting. It's kind of just, you know, run of the mill. A lot of SBC fodder with a Glick, Moreno, Bergwies, Maguire. Klosterman is a really cool card, 88 pace, 82 defense. He's a left back, I think, or right back that's been position changed. Uh, and then Anoyer is a pretty high level card. Susu on the bench is really solid. And then the rest of the team is just kind of average, but it's a lot of SBC fodder. So that's got a lot of people thinking about the possibility of um, maybe like a mid-icon SBC or the Neymar player of the month. Still, Neymar player of the month should be on your guys' horizons because that SBC should be coming soon. These cards today took an absolute killing, and they dropped a bunch, and I want to talk about why that happened. It was because we had a lot of pack supply SBCs today. Uh, we had three pack supply SBCs. Before we look at these prices, let me just look at the content that we had today. Um, I mentioned before that we didn't have any SBCs. I was referencing player SBCs, but we had a premium gold players pack for this Champions League SBC that it was only out for a day. We also had uh, the marquee matchups, UEFA marquee matchups as well that is out for two days in total. Um, and this one has a rare Electrum players pack and then two packs inside, which are a small prime. That's not a bad pack and a rare mix. So that's a little bit less than ideal. But uh, that's why a lot of the cards on the market today that were in packs, a lot of these winter refresh cards, that's why they dropped because they got packed a ton, right? Look look at this uh, Cornet early today, 40,000 coins, right? Content comes out 6 p.m. UK. He drops all the way down to 30,000 coins, rebounds a little bit. He's now back down to 30K. These cards are really interesting to me because they are so, so cheap. And a lot of them are very usable and are going to get into people's squads. I'm just not entirely sure what's coming next with the market. And that's kind of, you know, 
I'm holding back from investing in these, especially I'm not going to touch these until after rewards. I know rewards are today, but if these guys get hit in price this much, is this 35K? Excuse me? 35,000 coins for Areola. Unbelievable. Unbelievable, this price. This is crazy. He was 70, 80K just two days ago. Anyway, he's down to 44,000, dropped to 33. If this market drop on these cards happened from a simple three pack SB or two SBC that were in the store. So a total of what? Four packs, four packs that you could have gotten today to open up. And this is the supply that we see on these cards. Ake is at 144. The dude is down like a hundred thousand coins from where he was on the weekend. Yeah. He was up here at like, he was higher than 217 is what the graph shows, but he's 150 K on both console. Wow. No way. He was 130, he was 130,000 coins on the Xbox, excuse me, on the PlayStation. Now he's back up to 149. So if he gets back down to that 125, 130 range, I'm going to be very interested in, in uh, possibly picking up this card because if he's risen already uh, from the pack supply today, that means he's going to rise after rewards as well, in my opinion. So make, maybe take a look at these cards if you're watching this video before rewards. Maybe take a look at these cards and say, yo, which ones actually rose after the supply today? Because that means that they have hype. People want to use them and people want to try them. So that means they have a very high probability of rising again after rewards today. So watch out for these cards uh, to get very low during weekend league rewards. If you want any of them for your team, this is the time where you can cash. Uh, you can go splash the cash for them. The only two that I'd be very careful with would be Bruno Fernandez. Uh, and Zlatan Ibrahimovic. Those are the only two that I'd be very careful with because there still is technically a guaranteed Winter Refresh Player SBC in the code. There is a pack that will give out a guaranteed Winter Refresh Player, and that, that pack code is, is in. We saw it last night. I looked at it on the video last night. It was all over Twitter. That's a pack that could very well come out still, and that could drop these cards' prices even more. Bruno Fernandez is definitely going to be one who rises out of packs. Uh, from whatever he drops to, when he goes out, he is going to rise because this card has a lot of hype. He's Manchester United, big time transfer, really solid card in game. Haven't played with him myself, um, but he looks really good. 98 stamina is nuts. Good, decent agility, decent bounce. I was looking at the vision and crossing first at first, uh, but he's got pace. He's got really good passing. Looks like a really solid center attacking mid in the prem. Four star, four star, high, high, even like a box to box center mid. So I'm definitely, if I could get my hands on this card to try it out, I might have to do that. But if you want either of these guys for your team, we're talking Zlatan or we're talking Bruno Fernandez, I would be very, very careful um, just because I do think there's a possibility if an SBC does come out that gives out a guaranteed winter refresh player, these guys will drop a lot. Zlatan fluctuates like crazy anyway. Footbin right now is saying 936. He's 980. That's a crazy fluctuation for Zlatan, um, which I also think this card is still very overpriced considering his screen card is kind of similar to this minus for like a pace boost i think and some other boosts uh but the boosts aren't that big and the screen card's 100k so honestly i really think this card's price is up because of the links now he actually has decent links being with milan so that helps him a lot um erickson as well i guess if you're looking to get this guy for your team uh my brother my counterpart my twin christian erickson if you do see him at like 175,000 coins. What did his graph look like today? Let me check out Erickson's graph with you guys really quick. He's 200K right now. He's 188 on the Xbox. What did he hit today? He was 240 this morning. He was 196, 177. So he really hasn't moved much. But if you see this drop, another 20, 50, 20 25,000 coins on either console and you do want it for the team, that would probably be a buy for me. Of course, these cards are not live items. Please remember that. These cards are not live items in the game. They're not going to get upgraded. They have a permanent upgrade with their, you know, permanent whatever is going on. So just, just so that you know, those are not live items uh, in in this game right now. So I wanted to point that out. That was basically all the content that we got today, boys. We got an up, updated Trossard objective as well. So that was a bit of a, uh, a rip. Unless you are grinding this Premier League player Trossard, you'll get yourself an 87 rated version. Uh, of him. Where's that right there? 87 rated Trossard. It looks like a nice card, but just too much grinding in my opinion uh, to, to attain those cards. It's just not fun to have to grind this much to attain a card of that level. It's yes, it's a good card, but the grind is just not worth it. You can go out and buy like Leroy Sané for 40,000 coins and he'll be just as good in my opinion as that Trossard. So one other thing I want to point out is I saw this on Twitter. Shout out to Unique Riggers 
on Twitter, on Twitter, on the Twitter, whatever you call it, uh, for tweeting this out. I guess EA updated some informs today. So they updated Thurum's inform. Obviously, this was an 81 rated card, I think. Let's actually go check this out really quick because I think this was an 81 rated card before he got an update. Yes, Footbin hasn't even updated his card yet. So he got the upgrade to an 80 rated gold and they upgraded his inform from an 81 to an 84. So you can see he got plus one pace. He got plus three shooting. He got a uh, plus one physical plus two passing. So again, just kind of a, an okay upgrade, but it makes him an 84 rated inform. Uh, so I guess on the market, I don't know what his price would be, but this could be a possible investment opportunity if he has not been adjusted in price yet for being his, this rating. How much is Thurum's inform? He is currently 17,000 coins. So that's definitely not cheap for an 84 rated inform, uh, but it's a pretty rare. It's from an earlier on team of the week. Was it like team of the week three or something? Does it say in the game here? Uh, team of the week, team of the week. Now it doesn't say, but anyways, this is from a pretty early on team of the week. So if you see him at like maybe 14, 15 K, that would not be a bad inform to club stock for future SBCs. Uh, you know, just cause he's going to be a rare, a rare inform on this game. But again, if you have weekend league rewards today, good luck. If you're interested in, um, if you're interested in looking at any of these winter refresh cards and possibly buying them after today, uh, during weekly rewards, I think is your time. If you want to invest in some of these, will I be buying any, uh, maybe one or two. If I buy any is probably going to be the Schultz card. I might try to snag him, uh, club stock him. If there's any others that really interest me, it would probably be Cornette, Ake, uh, Ariola and Van Anholt. maybe Mateus Cunha as well, just because I think it's, it's really interesting to me that this guy has maintained such a high price so far. If we can look at this really quick at the end. Of the video today, Mateus Cunha has really maintained a pretty high price. He's right around two hundred thousand coins for a Brazilian striker in the Bundesliga. Which you know, this card is solid, right? This is a pretty solid card, but he's four, he's four star, four star, medium, medium. I don't feel like he's really amazing though. He's good, but he's not really amazing. So maybe I'm missing something here with this card. But I think it's the just the lack of the Brazilians in the Bundesliga for linkage. Uh, that this card is just a cool card as well. And he's got the league SBC card that has been hyped up his name for a while this year. So maybe that's why you're seeing this card's price inflated a little bit. Uh, but again, if you want anybody from this team of winter refresh cards, make sure you keep your eyes out for them during weekend league rewards today. Again, good luck. I said that like three times ready with GLs if you're opening those. And uh, yeah, we will have to see what this new promo is in the next few days. It's always interesting to me um, when they drop these loading screens so early, like today they dropped it on Wednesday. I really think they dropped it because they put it out on accident. I don't think this loading screen was actually supposed to come today, but it was somehow it got on Twitter. People saw it and, uh, they put it into the game too early for some reason. And, uh, I just think that right now where we see this, um, we're going to get that promo this weekend. And you know what? EA maybe leaked it a little bit early, but whatever this, this winter refresh promo has been pretty dead anyway, to be honest. So whatever happens, happens, and we'll be looking out for that new promo on Friday. If it is foot player days, GG's. If it's something totally new, then that's fine with me as well. So we'll see what comes this Friday in terms of the new promo on foot. Every single Friday, man, a new promo. That's how the, that's the EA way, boys. That's the EA way. If you enjoyed this video, smash a thumbs up on it. Comment down below if you have any questions and subscribe to the channel. If you're new, it's been Nate, the foot accountant. Catch you guys later. Peace out.